In this video I'm showing how to set up Dismiss profiles. We have a mix of different weapons, so let's get going. The 151 rocket we set up for a ripple single amount 7, emptying the whole pot at once. If I had two pots, I could add another profile with a ripple pair settings in an amount of 14, emptying both pots at once. For the Maverick, we only need to change the name. The GBU-12 will be set up for a level mat delivery with a 15k floor. Make sure to set up CCRP mode. For the Mark 82s, the first profile I make is a 15 LALD profile with a turn level turn save escape maneuver. I set up a ripple single amount to, leaving the spacing to the default of 75. The timings for the desired time of fall can be taken straight out of depth. The second Mark 82 profile is a 45 HADB with a climbing save escape maneuver. The GBU38 doesn't need much, I set it up for a 15k level mat delivery. For the illumination flares, we only need to change the name. Now let's disable some of the original profiles so they won't show up when selecting weapons with DMS. As you see, only the profiles I left enabled are showing up when scrolling through them. If you wish, you can delete the profiles you don't need to keep a better overview. Now let's change the laser code of the GBU-12 to 1672. The 
because I changed the GBU12 laser coat, I'm also changing the laser coat in the DGB. The LSS coat I set up to match the laser coat of my wingman, in case we're going to use laser to mark targets for each other. The GPU 12 profile has an option to enable auto lace. Let's change our profile as such with a lace time of 16 seconds. That covers some basics of the dismiss. If you have any questions, let me know.